Well, hello, hello, Young and the Restless Daily Recap fans. Today's Daily Recap is for Thursday, August the 31st, 2023. Thursday, August the 31st. Well, today's episode to me was a filler. It was not needed. My guess is it could have been combined with Fridays, whatever Friday's going to be. They could have cut out some of the fluff from yesterday. This was just nothing. Victor calls Sharon, Adam, Nick over right? Sharon had already, you know, told Nick what her plans were. And Adam was like, because Sharon, um, Adam and Nick were talking. Sharon comes into the coffee house and she asked Nick because um, Nate was there and Nate was trying to egg them on and get in between them and say, well, whatever you and Sharon may have, or whatever you all have planned, hopefully is to keep your brother, Adam, out of Newman altogether. And Adam's standing right there. And I thought, ooh, no presumption was Nate, but okay. And Nick is like, none of your business, Nate. Because <laughs> I still don't like Nate. Nick still, mm. So Sharon comes in and she goes, Nick, can I speak to you? And Adam says, I think I should be involved. I should know what you two are going to talk about. And she goes, no. And he's like, well, what are you guys planning? Nope. We're not talking to you, Adam. So he's mad because they're not letting him in so he could run around and try to preempt them with his father. I wouldn't tell him what we're planning either. So Sharon tells Nick that, you know what? I am I just want to pull my company out. And Nick says, uh, Victor's not going to go for it. She goes, I'll fight him for it. Let's see, fighting power. Sharon Newman did she go back to Newman or isn't she Rosales? Victor Newman. Who can outlast who in court? Who can outlawyer who? There you have it. So he says, well, I'll put in a good, I'll vouch for you. I'll, I'll, you know, I will talk to dad and let him know he should let you have this company back, you know, but whatever we are. Well, okay, Nick. Okay. So then they all get a text. Um, Audra's at the bar still trying to figure out what her positioning is in the company what's going to happen to her and so um, Adam's talking and Adam gets a text because she goes Audra asked him so what's going to happen with my position and Adam says uh, you're mistaken to think I have the inside track and so Audra goes oh now she flips the switch so your actions may have caught up with you you could be on the outs with your family. So he gets a text from Victor. He goes, well, looky here. I'm being summoned to the ranch. And she just looks at him, right? So Sharon and Nick, they, they get summoned too. Victor calls them out and he has them sit down and he has them tell him what their what is your vision of what you think the company should be? And he had Adam go first. And of course, Adam's vision is he's the golden boar. He's rewarded. He gets to top everything. All of that, those little future wishes, I fast forward it because look, it's not going to happen. So why waste my time? Why make, waste my time? So the collage of pictures is this. When it finally gets to Sharon's turn, Sharon tells Victor point blank, this is not working. When I approached you, see, that's Sharon's stupid mistake. Mistake. She approached Victor. Remember? Let's merge the companies. She but but she was talking about McCall. She goes, I was talking about McCall and Kirsten Unlimited. Now it's turned into everything else. A merger into Newman Media. Um, McCall, my Kirsten being stripped down to just the bare bones to nothing. And she goes, this is not, and Victor, she told him, you have changed the rules constantly, constantly. Well, this is business and I'll teach you how, but she goes, you know what? You have to be able to rely on something and I can't rely on what's going on. So she goes, I want my company out. And Victor's like, nope, you signed a deal is a deal. And Adam had the nerve to be sitting on the couch. He goes, that's right, Sharon. You obviously don't understand how deals work. And Nick is like, of course you would, Adam. 
You're trying to suck up to dad. And then Adam says, so Adam and Nick start arguing. And Victor's like, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You guys cannot get along without arguing. It's just a disgrace. And so Sharon stands up and she says, well, then I'm prepared to fight you. And Victor's like, she had the nerve. Victor told Sharon, you, where did, what did he say? You do you. Yep, you do you, Sharon. You do you. Like, do what you think you can, but I'm getting ready to school you. How many of us took Sharon seriously as running a company? Let's be real. Who really thought that was going to happen? When she wanted to merge with Victor Newman, I knew right then, oh, that ain't going to work. He's going to gobble you up and spit you out, little girl. And she did. She did something stupid, boneheaded. She should have went to Chancellor Winters. So now we have Nicholas and Nicholas standing up for Sharon. She should have it. After everything she's been through, she defended your granddaughter with her life and blah, blah, blah. This is just business. <laughs> Victor, I make the decisions. So Adam says, so I forget. Now he's asked Nicholas, what's your vision? He said, what difference does it make, Dad? Really? I could tell you what my vision, I think, for the company is going to be. And you're going to turn right around and do the opposite. Because I'm asking you. So Nicholas tells him his little version of it. And I fast forward. I can't even tell you what Nicholas said. So then he goes, all right, enough of this, dad. Enough of this. Just tell us the decision. And Adam stands up. I'm with Nicholas. What are you going to decide? And he goes, well, there's one person I haven't heard from whose opinion I value the most. And Nicky, uh, Nikki comes from the hallway. He goes, there you are, my darling. Can you sit down and tell me what your visions for the company is? And, and, you know, what's gone wrong? Of course, she lays into Adam. Lays into him. And then she softly lays into Nicholas about, you know what? Every chance you get, you're pretty much one foot out of, out of the family company and blah, blah, blah. You need to make a decision and stick with it, right? But he, Nicholas got semi, come on camera, semi talked about because that's her baby that's her baby boy but Adam oh she trashed him and so he sits this so she sits there and, and Victor says okay well here's what's gonna happen and you all probably aren't gonna like it he says new media of course is gonna merge with SNA Nicholas I want you to go back to Newman Enterprises as its C co CEO. And you, my darling. No, actually, he tells Nikki first. He says, Nick, uh, uh, Nikki, I want you to run the newly formed Newman Media with SNA merged into it. Nikki looks at him and says, Wait, huh? Because see, everybody in real life, that's a demotion. Even though it's a demotion over a much, much larger company, a company that Audra Charles could not have run. It's too large. Really, Adam and Nick, Adam and Sharon could have run it. Nick has the experience. I'm not Adam and Sharon. Nick and Sharon could have run it. Remember yesterday, Nikki said, Victor, darling, make Sharon and Nick co-CEOs and make Adam a junior executive position. That would have been the best move, but he didn't listen to Nikki. He wants to move Nikki from Newman Enterprises to head this other company, put Nick in her. He tells Nick, and I want you to be the co-CEO with your sister. And Nick looks at him, he goes, and Adam says, so once again, I am banished from this whole, you know, a, a business arrangement. 
And he goes, that's because you cannot work together with anybody. I've given you every opportunity and you have done whatever you wanted. Never did you work together. So Adam storms out of there, storms out, right? And I thought, as usual, he's always the one left out. But you know what, everybody? He definitely, he can't work together. Adam can't. And he didn't even try this time to work with anybody. So Nicholas told Victor, I'm going to have to think about it. And Nick said, look, I'm going to have to talk to Vic before I take the co-CEO position. Right? And he says, but mom, I think that's a great move for you. That's a great move. You will do right by that. You will do well. So we'll see. We already know Nikki's going to say yes. She never says no to Victor. And we already know Nicholas is going to say yes. Adam is the only one that's now going to be out to plot revenge because then we have the next scene. Adam goes home. Oh, he's burning mad. His, his feelings are hurt. Once again, dad chose them over me. Once again. When Victor has bought more companies for Adam than he ever has his other kids. He has. <laughs> now, the only thing is where he really pulled the rug out from Adam is when he decided to merge Newman Media with Newman Inter with regular Newman companies up under that umbrella. Because Adam and Sally were doing very, very well. They were. And Victor Ch changed it up, right? So... I do have to say, yeah, Adam didn't see that coming. But anyway, now Adam's drinking and he's looking, you want war? I'm going to give you war. And I thought, oh, bad deceive it. Dis deceitful Adam is coming back. Good. I like it when he's a bad boy. Connor's out the picture, right? Adam's getting ready to go slice and dice. Okay. We could all handle that, right? I'm cool with that. So anyway, everybody, that's it for today's daily recap of the young and the restless. And look, Victor goes to his gym and he starts punching on that punching bag so hard. I thought Victor was going to have a heart attack. I'm like, watch it, old man. You don't even have punching gloves on. He's punching it with his fist. And I'm like, oh, boy, you're going to be a bloody mess. Right? Oh, my goodness. So anyway, that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with another daily recap.